Hey guys, it's Ramblin' Bob here again. Well, I'm back in my workbench. Um, do you remember this, uh, I think it's Uko or Yuko, or it's UCO, the candelier, candle lantern? This is a really cool uh, invention. Very cool. It, it's amazing you get that much heat. 5,000 BTUs out of one candle you can walk around. I mean, it, it's unbelievable. But I'm into mod and stuff. I like to change stuff. I like to take a product and see if we can use it other ways. Now, I did one already before where I would have a couple of these. Uh, let me start this up while I'm explaining. Uh, I, I, would, I would fire these up and you would have a little candle on top, or uh, not a candle, I'm sorry. You'd, you'd have a, a, a small little um, uh, uh, fan. Boy, I can't even talk today. A, a, a small little fan that you'd put on top and it would take this heat out of there. 5,000 BTUs for nine hours, that's crazy. But I was uh, thinking, well, how can we make this even more better? Because you have good, and then you have better, and then you have more better. That's what my wife always says, more better. So, all right, let's, uh, okay, that's done. Now we got two of these bad boys lit. That's 10,000 BTUs, right? 10,000 BTUs, 10,000. That's, that's, right, that's a regular heater, though. But look at this, bam. Super Arnold Schwarzenegger style. We're going in. All right, lots of muscles here. All right. We're going to light these guys up here. These are all brand new, so, they, you know, they take a minute to, to light here. All right. So I got all these bad boys going. So now, all right. Let's see. All right. Well, that one, the glass fell down. That's a convertible model. Don't worry about that one. All right. So here's the thing. This is my super duper pimped up. Uh, pimp up my ride I guess I don't know what the kids call it nowadays I'm gonna call it a tornado fan uh, heater okay wait till you see this I'm gonna do this in real time so you guys can see so now you have uh, 15,000 BTUs shooting into one of these guys that it's uh, basically a stove fan now, I did the, the video before with two of them but uh, I thought you know what we could do better we could always do better we could upgrade and make it better so we just have to wait till it starts i have my trusty dusty high tech uh this is called a wind calculator basically uh these are like a million dollars uh i actually i stole it from my cat uh i hope she doesn't hear me playing with it because she'll come running in um basically uh see so when the, when the wind starts blowing this high tech calculator is going to show you how much wind is going to be blowing so the neat thing is we're going to do this in real time. Uh-oh, I think I hear my cat. Uh-oh, I'm going to hide that for a second. All right, so we're talking about this. I have other mods that I want to do with this too. Oh, look, hey, look at that. How fast was that, right? How fast was that? So that fan does not start until it's 150 degrees on this base. 150 degrees. So we were able to get 150 degrees already, and you see it's still speeding up quickly. So the amount of heat... The base is 172 degrees. So I think when we had the two fans, I think we had 200 and I think it was two, 250 on the uh, on the on the the base in the corner. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see in real time here. You can see it's 195 degrees already. So I mean, that that started going. I, I can already feel the heat coming across the table. It's uh, it's pretty cool. This was uh, the super duper camping, uh, hunting, fishing. Uh, holy cow, it's cold outside. We need something to warm us up now. I mean, look at that sucker spinning now. All right, let me see here. Let me see. I'll follow it here. See, 209. So we're getting there, and we're getting there quick. Uh, I, I think this uh, optimal for this fan is about 400 degrees. And, uh, man, we're halfway there already on, on guess what? Candles. Sootless, smokeless flickerless candles you see this all this wind going on they barely move right all right let's see what we got up here all right we are at look at that 225 degrees i have right now in my face 225 degrees coming across the table i'm about i'm probably about two feet away from this fan but and remember it's still heating up i hope my my last uh uh experiment if you will my my super mod uh, i think we hit uh, two i think it was 250 I, I i can't remember i think it was 250 
Um, I'm hoping to hit 275 or 300 degrees with this. I don't know if it will. Uh, it was just a theory I had, and I love to try new stuff as far as figuring out stuff. Um, I love tinkering with technology and stuff. It's it's really interesting. That's why I got into solar and everything. It's it's uh, un unbelievable what you can do nowadays. We never had this, you know, years ago. All right, let's do a temperature check update. Whoop, whoop, too fast, too fast. Hold on. Okay, so as you see, we are 243.8 degrees Fahrenheit so we are literally and you see that fan that fan is kicking like a chicken boy it is spinning so we got to wait of just a man probably like 30 more seconds you know one nice thing about these candeliers too what's really crazy for you guys that like candles look at how big them flames are you ever see flames like that on a candle nope you get them little things like this and they don't put out any heat that's putting out 5,000 BTUs of flame in there. When you get them, you want to cut the wick about half. Otherwise, you have like a, a forest fire going on in there. And then it, the, the wax drips all over the place. But, I mean, look at that. Those, those uh, have to be, what, one inch? That has to be an inch to an inch and a quarter tall, each flame. You'll never see candles outside a controlled environment like that. All right, let's do a temperature check. Let's see. Are we winning or are we losing here? Let's see. Look at that. 260 almost 261 degrees how crazy is that so right now in my face i have 260 degree air possibly well at least that's the the uh, the, the starting temperature so uh, 260 degree uh flowing across the table and i guarantee you i i feel it i'm two feet away that would be really cool if you really needed some heat quick uh, I have another mod that I like to try on these things later, but we'll see if they work. But uh, I, I want to see what the, this thing maxes out at. Because like I said, we're already 5 degrees over what it was with two lanterns, and these will burn for 9 hours. So obviously you, you don't need it for 9 hours, but man, if you did, that's 9 hours of heat you got. That's really cool. I don't think it would heat up like a whole room or anything, but man, it, it's like a personal heater. It's like when you sit in front of the... Uh, uh, a, a very small register at your house you know when the heat vent when a little air comes out it's it's really nice it's calming all right so let's see again let's test it let's see what we got look at that 268.7 degrees that's hot can you imagine what you could do with 270 degrees well you, you <laughs> I, I can think of a lot of things you can almost melt stuff you, man you, i bet you could cook on there you know, that's almost at a temperature of what you need to cook. So, all right, we'll, we'll see. Uh, let's give it another 30 seconds. The fan is already definitely going faster than it was last time. And it really feels good. Dear, you want to come up here and check this out? This is really neat. It's, uh, it's definitely better. Do you remember the last one that we did? Yeah. It was uh, two candles, and we got 255 degrees right in there. But now we're almost to 270. Look at how fast it's spinning. Can you feel that? What does it feel like? Oh, it feels very nice, very warm. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That's awesome. That's so awesome. All right, we're going to do it. Check it again here. Look at that. Is that mental? 281 degrees. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy, guys. That's 280 degrees. That's the same as uh, probably... Uh, Man, a very, a very, very small fire, uh, like a fireplace, a real, real tiny one, you know, or you know what it is? Um, this, this little, uh, where is this guy here? This guy right here, okay? This guy. This throws out 250 degree heat, okay? That's a 200 watt, 250 degree, when you, when you shoot that laser in there, 250 degrees. So we're all the way up to 280 degrees on this little guy. You, so what you you're can, saying is that these candles are putting off more heat than the heater does. Yeah, yeah. Now, you're not getting it out of the fan, yeah. but that's your starting temperature. So you got 280 degrees that's warming up this, uh, this uh, stove fan, and then it takes that and radiates, uh, radiates it out into the room. With no electricity at all. None. Wow. Uh, you don't see no plugs anywhere, do you? No. Nope. All right, here. Look at that. Here. Now we got a plug. All right, so... Now, now that we have a plug, uh, now we got electricity. So, let's test. I'm curious. I really am curious now. 
282.3. I have a feeling that we might have reached our peak here. But still, 280 degree uh, air coming at you? That's nice. I guarantee that you would enjoy that. If, if Like I'm sitting, dear, what do you think, like two, two feet away? Can, can you feel that from here? Yeah, I can feel it. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That's like, uh, is it like sitting in front of a, like a small house vent? Yeah. Yeah, or like maybe your car on if low. If it was cold, I would definitely sit in front of that. Right? And, and you know, wh wh whatever heat doesn't go in this fan and gets radiated through there, it goes up into the air. So you, you don't lose any of it. None of it. Absolutely none of it. This, no electricity. And then uh, you plop it up there, and now you can circulate that warm air around like a like a tent or a camper or an RV or even a room, you know, whatever. But, uh, all right, we're going to do one last test, and we're going to see how it does. Oh, wait, you know what we got to do? This is what we really got to do. All right, where's the cat? Hopefully it won't hear us. Okay, I got to get my million-dollar uh, air temperature gauge here. Honey? You, yes? Is it the cat toy? Uh, nope, nope. Uh, go look in the other room. I bet you it's in there. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, All right. You guys ready for this? I'm going to hold it steady. I'm going to let it go. You ready for this? Check that out. Is that crazy? Look at the airflow of that. That's crazy. I can feel it all the way across the table. That's 280 degrees starting air. That's crazy. That really is crazy. All right, I'm going to hide this before the cat hears me. All right, let me see. Let me test this here. All right, I'm going in. I'm trying to get it right in there. All right, there you go. That's the highest I could find. So in the base of that fan, you have 286.7 degrees. How crazy is that? I guarantee you, if you were chilly, like if you were fishing or something, I love to go fishing. That I bet you that would warm up uh, your fingers. It, definitely, I think that would warm up your fingers. All right, well, I think this test is a big success. It's a little expensive. You got, I paid 30 bucks per candelier. Uh, I did it on purpose because I, I really, I like I said, I, I like testing stuff, and I just created a 280 degree, uh, uh, basically fan radiator heater. That'll burn for nine hours on three of these little guys with no soot, no flicker. And uh, wow, what a great idea. I hope you guys liked it. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.